of surface area that have previously not been exposed to untrusted input. And we're now just giving web developers access to those drivers and all that surface area. And this is going to be a ripe new area for exploits. So we're working with device manufacturers to improve things like uh, 3D drivers so that if there is bad input given to the driver, it doesn't give you a zero day exploit or at the very least it doesn't blue screen your computer, um, which is pretty trivial today. So we're fixing that, but that's going to take time. And in the meanwhile, a blacklist based approach will help us protect against these new threats. So I'd, I'd like to wrap up by saying that we're doing a lot of work to increase the security of the browser, to help keep users up to date in terms of the browser itself, in terms of plugin, but there's always going to be zero day exploits. And so we view blacklisting as a complementary method to help keep users protected from zero day threats as well as from social threats like phishing and socially engineered malware. Thank you very much. And I think we probably have a minute or two if anyone has any questions, Chris and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks. In the front. Are you, or is there going to be a way to feed that blacklist to known issues with, let's say, DLLs or applications or other things? Because, you know, it looks to me like you, you will have a central point where you can actually distribute, you know, information about a particular item, right? Like mm -hmm. Yeah, so Mozilla has done a lot of work in terms of understanding what uh, plugins are vulnerable. Uh, I think you can easily generalize that to DLLs in general or parts of the operating system. It's something we're looking at. It's not something we're doing right now, but it's certainly something that we can do in the future. Yes? The question was uh, sandboxing plugins for AOS independent. Can we do anything better like native client? Uh, we're actually working with Mozilla to come up with something uh, newer than NP API, a new plugin API that will make it easier to do things like sandboxing, uh, provide more uh, centralized mechanisms for accessing system resources, file system access. That'll certainly help. Uh, something like native client is also interesting, but um, it's not clear that you could actually write something like the, the Java plugin in native client. Uh, so you know, we're very interested in making sure that it is possible to run plugins in a sandbox environment and still provide the necessary functionality. Things like this new plugin API that we're working on with Mozilla and others uh, provide us a way to do this. I think we're probably out of time. So uh, thank you everyone so much for coming. Uh, I see a few questions left. So Chris and I will be around today. Feel free to grab us. Thank you all so much. And I look forward to all the great talks today and tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>